All right. Second light of the night. Yes, second light of the night. I got Dan and Rick here joining me on testing my second light here. Yeah, it's the first one that I made. Yeah. Well, and then, yep, Rick's joining. So I got, yes, Rick or sheep. And now I'm testing the Regent. I have this Regent Mercury Vapor Light. And here, this is new in box. This is the Dusk to Dawn Yard Blaster Bucket Light. I like to call these bucket lights. I think bucket lights is the technical term. I've also called them barn lights, but I've also called yeah. the ones that we have upstairs barn lights. Yeah, I think of those as barn lights. I know. I think of them both as barn lights, so I need to come up with better names. Uh, but, you, was it a certain manufacturer that called them blasters? Yeah. Because that's what I've always called them. It's like Xerox, where like yeah. one manufacturer called it that, so now everybody calls it that, even though they were often commercial. So let's see what this uh, 175 watt uh, mercury vapor does. And of course, that Ooh, very. Nice pretty purplish color. You see a lot of uh, fireworks when you were driving in, Rick? I did too. Not so much today. Uh, I, when just, I was at work yesterday. Yes. I did. And, uh, that's, okay, that, yeah, that, that so five thing. amps. Ooh, well, they all are. I love the... Uh, no, the startup bus is at this fun, actually. Oh, yeah. The buzz in these just takes me right back to childhood. I know I've told the story many times, but the church okay. across the street from my parents' house, I used to... Uh, try to time it so I'd be out there when they turned on, at least during the winter when, it, when they turned on early. Yeah. And it'd be like, and we also, also always made snow forts in their parking lot. Yeah. So it'd be like the sound of freshly fallen snow, which is one of my favorite sounds. Yeah. And then the sound of the mercury's coming on, which is one of my second favorite sounds. It just takes so, me right back to happy childhood. Yep. Now, one thing I talk about in these light videos is that oftentimes the watts, I have it set to watts because yep. the watts tend to climb as it's reaching brightness, but then the amps will drop. actually drop. So it starts off with drawing a high amount of amps, but then it's gonna drop. <laughs> yeah, so the, the starts, current go- The startup amperage is higher. So right now the power factor is just shy of a quarter right now. Power factor usually does change or also increase as uh, it brightens, so. Yeah, if you look on the camera, it looks a lot more teal than it does. Oh yeah. Well, look at the ceiling. Look how teal the ceiling looks too, though. Oh yeah, oh, very much. So. Yeah, so this is like, it's, 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 it's funny the camera kind of thing. Yeah. And just it's as I pull UV. in, I timed myself just right, oh, pulling see, in. See the one come on outside, outside start oh, up with that. Fun. Now, yep. of, of the yard blasters, the one we have outside is my favorite with the long arm. Uh-huh. I like that better well, than the short arm on these. Well, this one you can make, you're meant you to... You can, just conduit. Yeah, you have to buy conduit for it, you know. Uh, Conduit. Yep. You remember that? That's what it even says in the... Uh, Conduit. In the instruction manual that came with it. Yeah. How to assemble it, and it's... Brand new Regent Fox, too. Yeah, that's the bulb that came with it. Oh, yeah, show it in the camera. Here's the... Uh, Is that on? Nope, lower. Bring it down. Yep, there's the bulb like the package. Side so side. question your metalness. Ah. You can only have one mercury vapor fixture. Yeah. What one do you pick? I could only have one mercury vapor. You can only have one mercury vapor fixture. What's your favorite? Like, what's what's the gold line or or metal blender oh. of of mercury vapors? I would have to say. Let's see the. Well, either that high bay that I put mercury in by the door, right. or I got the two new in box ones that look so like the most them. the older version of the high bays. Yes, is those Hubbles yeah. or yeah. Lithuanias. For me, it might be some variation of these. Lithonia, you mean? Not Lithonia. Lithuania is a country. Yeah, yeah. Lithonia or something. Lithonia, I, I think. Yeah. Is that that what it's? Yeah, yeah. Lithonia. Yeah. Some some of that, them are Hubble. I gotta see. Yeah, Hubble's are. a really common one. Yeah, that's in the other. I've made a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, but uh, really cool stuff too. Right? Okay, Absolutely. let's see where it watts. It's okay, right at one forty-five watts. So it's still got a little bit to go. It's still, yeah, it still seems like it's well. I, I guess given that it's a brand new bulb, it probably needs to break in a little too. Yeah, probably. It's a pretty nice bulb too. Like it's pretty low uh, UV. It seems like I noticed for being it's nice and crisp color. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, yeah, I think for me, I'd ha it, it's definitely an outdoor light of some kind for me, but honestly, it might be like whatever the sturdiest variations of these is, because again, I think these were the ones that I liked the most in my childhood. So it's now you know what I think below four amps. Uh, mercury vapors are, are outdoor uh, 
recessed ones. Mm. Outdoor. Like the squares that are yeah. recessed into overhangs. Those I oh, the gas stations. Gas stations. I actually like, like the ones yeah. as, oh yeah, or sure. even the, uh, let's try to think, oh yeah, the malls with the uh, hundred waters mm. that are recessed by the entryways. Yeah. Oftentimes they're so worn out that oh, they're like they look real. So dismal, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's uh, same question, but now I'm going to open it up to all HIDs, not just mercury. Same right. answer or a different answer? Mm, I would say same answer because uh, the reason why, like when I say the high bay mercury, is because the that elementary school. No, the YMCA <laughs> no, with them. Uh, the, there's a YMCA where I used to go to that has an Olympic sized pool. And I mean, literally. Yeah. And it's got, uh, when I was a kid, it had high bay mercuries. And it had the layout of a gym, meaning not just the perimeter, but literally installed like a gym. And so. Okay, so. It's, it's a little off topic. And just tell me to stop if you, if you got other stuff you got to do in the video. But now I'm curious. So, same question. Mm -hmm. But uh, fluorescent lights, you can only have one. What's your favorite? Mm, fluorescent lights? Rick, you got a quick answer while he's thinking? Um, think about that. I would uh, actually uh, say uh, louvered. these louvered here. Well, he's pointing at the ones from the Oregon shop. Are we shop. saying yes. it has to be one we already have? No. Like, just no. Like, just like if you, it, like, some people will often ask if you could only have one fan in your collection, what would you have? Yeah. You know, oh, you can only have one light in your... You can have as many of this one as you want, but you can only have that one. And for Pete, I'm pretty sure it's a Union Gold line. Uh, yeah. For me, I I, I I think it's probably the the A&G Bentley, the iFan. Oh, um, yeah, those are cool. But, mm -hmm. you know, as you get... No, Rick Blender. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got Blender, but... I mean, I'd, yeah. I'd, be, I'd, be re I'd be really upset having to give up Blenders and Gold lines, but yeah. in Glasgow's, but I think if I had to pick one... So to say, that's, okay. you know, oh, that's way brighter. Right. Yep, is. it's right now reached 160 watts. I have the meter going. So did you? Did you, oh, you so, so Pete said the uh, the louvers with the plastic sides. What say you, Rick? Mm -hmm. I'd probably say that 1942 Deca one that I restored that I poured my heart and soul into restoring. I mean, let, do you know which one I'm talking about? I think so. It's gray and white. It's, it's, it was extremely, extremely rusted. But it? I mean, like, so take away the part of the story that you restored it. Like, they're, theoretically, they're all in brand new condition. Oh, um, like, I understand the sentimentality yeah, of the find or the, but I'm talking about just like, you like the fixture itself. Yeah. Like, you could go to the, I mean, that one's up there, too. You could go to the store and buy yeah, one yeah, thing that yeah. was made at any time brand new in the box, but you can only buy the one. Yep, you, like you got, I said. You've got a time machine I would you can love, go back in time. Yeah, what I actually liked on those louvered would be to have them on down rods. Yeah. Like, with what I call Rick tiles, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. That's yeah. what we all saw. You know, I would probably go with one of those day brights with glass fact, panels. And, in fact, uh, I think it's Robbie uh, Lawrence's uh, church. You know, I the would class. Buy a brand new one. Yeah. Probably one of those you know, like in throughout the school of Robbie Lawrence's yeah. church, it's got those exact louvered. For me, it would be a, a, a four tube preheat half pipe. My high school had those exact louvers too until like the two thousands when they put in drop ceilings. Oh yeah. I know, and I didn't find out until many years later because I was out of school by sure. the time. And I just I went back with my mom and I think my ex maybe to see a play there because one of my mom's students was in the play. Yeah. <clears throat> I just wanted to go walk around and look and see how, how my I high school would, looked. Yeah, I would do the same. And everything looked the same except once you went into the classrooms, the ceilings were now like half the height with the That's stupid That's like trotters. that North Middle School did that too. And you know why they did that? No. Uh, to add air conditioning ducts because there was no... Uh, the, the school was all, there was no yep. air conditioning, and oh, it was yeah. just the old cast iron uh, radiators for heat, yes. and they, they always failed. So the heat would be out in our classroom like half the time, and we'd have to call a maintenance guy, and he'd come with a wrench, and you know, it was the, the, the heat was either not working, or it'd be like 100 degrees in there, because it wouldn't shut off. Oh. And so, huh? at some point, they finally got some a grant to like put in all new HVAC, but the ducts have to go somewhere, so they just they had yeah. to drop the ceilings. Now, right now, 
it is shy of 160 and it's not really like climbing. I think it's going to stay there, yeah. I think so. It's not going to quite reach 175 watts. Yeah. Not all do. Yeah. They don't all reach the wattage they uh, well, mark. Just yes. to be fair, the, the bulb is probably drawing 175 watts from the ballast and the question, the, 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 the difference maker is just the efficiency of the ballast. That's true. And now right now it's drawing 2.72 amps. Which is a lot more than 175 watts. Now, let's see. Yeah, and the, the ceiling, power... The ceiling literally looks lime green. This and now, I was yeah. going to say, the power factor is half. Yeah. So, the power factor is half on this. So I it's... bet you these ones that were made for, like, residential and agricultural applications where nobody cared about power factor, they probably used cheaper ballast. And then the ones that were made for commercial installations, they probably have beefier ballast, so the power factor is higher. Okay. Well, um... Well, this, since this is as bright as it's really getting, and uh, the wattage is not even climbing anymore, it's yeah, pretty much it stable yeah, out. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's all we can show with this the, one. The thing is, also, one thing I notice when halides reach full brightness, they do this kind of a blink thing at the very yeah, end. Yeah, like, like, I made it, Mom. Yeah, I noticed it. I'll notice that. Yeah. Whether it's at the gyms or uh, when I had halides in those high bays, I could see it. So that's when you know... So other than that... By the way, uh, same question for incandescent. My answer is ring lights. For oh, yeah. Answer. Oh, uh, I would be going with those um, recessed uh, square ones with the glass, like kind of... The ones we have right over there? Kind of. Um, or no, the glass, the belt glass that drops down. Mm. No, I'd have to explain it. It looks almost like a uh, part of, what are those called, a Fresnel, but it's not... That's what those are over there. No, not those. Maybe. And no, those just, are square. No, I they're they look the ones I'm thinking of are a little bit more rounded. Kind of like the dropped ones, but they have kind of, a lot like that one that I uh, I don't I'm sure you know you know what I'm talking about though. I don't. Because those over there have a Fresnel lens and they're square, okay. so I don't know what else it would be that's a Fresnel yeah. lens and square. Okay, I guess I'm I'm just picturing the one I have. Yeah. Of, that type of thing, I would say though. Then there is uh, incandescent. I know I cannot find them in existent, but uh, take like you know, those paint can type lights, they kind of look like Menards. Yeah. Oh, Maybe, yeah. okay, they have like a grill in them, kind of like a gym light, like a gym light, except they would either have PARS, floodlights, or high wattage in them. <clears throat> See, I'm not sure I've ever seen this specific version that Pete's talking about. I know you've talked about it before. Yes, because remember, gyms before halide or yeah. mercuries existed. That's well, most they... of the ones that I remember seeing before before halides and fluorescence and all that. The incandescent gym lights I've seen have either been recessed. Yep. Um, barn lights. Yeah, I've uh, seen barn lights. Or holophanes. Okay, but this one, yeah, it was literally oh, like yeah, a flush mount. I know exactly. I, you know, it's like the most Rick incandescent picture that I can Let me see. You got a picture? No, no, I changed my mind. No. Oh, those stupid drum, things. Drum lights. Drum lights. Oh, okay. then I also, uh, if I, another Mercury, if I were to, uh, I know I said those high bays. Yeah. Then there's ones that just came to mind. It's like, you'll see them. There's a former gas station out on the main street there. They currently have corn cobs in them. But it, they're square that stick out. With but, like the plastic lens? Yes, yeah. and they would have been mercury vapor in the first place, like gas station canopies, and I've seen them in gyms too. You know what I I've want, but I don't know, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be my pick, but it's like definitely something like if I have a chance to get it, I'd be really super excited. Huh. There's a fluorescent street light or a fluorescent oh, like... Oh, Manami Falls downtown when I was a kid had them yeah. along the, the main street. Preferably like the four tube ones, like you saw in a lot yep. of old gas stations. Oh, yeah. I also happened. really like those McDonald's mercury vapors, the parking lot lights. Oh, Remember yeah. I showed you the ones, and like a few of them got corn cobs in them. Yeah, they, they kind of look like they kind of look like a residential light, but big. Yeah. There's also a place on Capitol Drive that has those. Yeah. It's like a residential. Community. And one of my former McDonald's before they leveled it to rebuild yeah. had the french fries as HIDs. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Versus most were fluorescent. Near fluorescent, yeah. But this one they had HIDs in them. You know oh, what? Here's the here's what I was talking about. I've never seen that exact version. Oh, I've before. seen them. I've seen them before. That, okay. Those are even like the square version. Well, uh, uh, so you can thank your sponsors. Yes. 
which is the first one is my favorite vacuum of the PowerMate canister, which you are going to see in a next video. Well, too bad Rick forgot it at home. I can't do that to Pete. It's just too mellow. Yeah. And I want you part of the video where you're yes, either. I hope so. I was hoping to be part of it. Yeah. Cause I want it to be yes. cause. And then I said, power mate, when one motor is not enough, you'll need two. So buy power mate and not up wrong. <laughs> I'll explain uh -oh. that joke in a I moment. Already, I already got the joke. Yeah. And then there's Reese's pizza. Be sure to eat your pizza. That one I think's before my time. Does, it yeah, was. I, it's before mine too. No, this was actually, this came from Fanfare. But I wasn't there when this happened. Okay, maybe you yeah, were around. I mean, I'm sure I was in. I was around, but I wasn't yeah. in. The, I wasn't in the. I was probably like an argument between Reese and Jeff or something like that, and I wasn't there for it. Yeah, I just think it's silly now, and most of that lately after that has been coming out of Connor. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked to Connor in a long time. Is he still around? Oh yeah. Tell him to send me a message. I haven't talked to him in a while. He yes. Oh, let me ask you a question. What does Metal Jonas ever appear in your videos? I know you have a Jonas organs and doorbells, but does Oh that, yes. Uh, what about the spokesman, Metal Jonas? I don't know. Oh. Maybe not in this one, okay. but uh, Okay, there's something where you need to You know what? No, I'm not going to bring it up in this video. I'm going to bring it up in one of the main videos. But it is sponsored by Jonas Organs and Doorbells cuz they're marvelous and magnificent. Wow. And incredible. House on the Rock. Yeah, House on the Rock too. One word. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I, I think one of my favorite things is uh, Rick losing his shit at Metal Jonas. That was pretty first funny. Time, I didn't know that was coming. That totally <laughs> Okay. Out it was pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I said, and the final sponsor of My Kids Obsession, where it's okay for your kids to be into fans and vacuums or even cockroaches or any other unusual interest. So, so bye, PowerMate. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching and subscribing.